Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International, new artist and educator here and today we are going to do a very quick and easy design uh, which you will be able to recreate it uh, as I will show you step by step. You can have a wee preview of it in here. Yeah, absolutely stunning for a springtime and I cannot wait really for spring to arrive. Uh, so I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial and if you recreate this look, hashtag Dorota Palitska, as I will be very happy to see your work as well on the other social medias like on Instagram or Facebook. And if you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials uh, which you have to catch up on really uh, great information days on the structure, nail art, one stroke, freehand painting, uh, also quick and easy designs as well. Um, I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start. Pretty simple, uh, but slightly different set I'm going to show you uh, this time. The line work is pretty popular at the moment and I'm always doing like nails in pink so I thought I will show you a different color and we are going to use the 148 uh, which is kind of like a pastel green. I think pretty nice shade for a spring. You can see it is really nice pastel color. Like absolutely simple to do it. And also I will tell you some secret as well. Uh, you have seen me doing a tutorial regarding different types of chromes and like I don't like to buy the stuff which I cannot use it. And one of the chromes weren't as great for um, to be applied on the no wipe top gel. Uh, they wasn't like staying on really well and I had to figure out the way how to use them and this is the way which I'm going to demonstrate you today. And I'm talking about those uh, chrome pigments with the eyeshadow, which looks like an eyeshadow. And the last one. It's a very simple set, like now, I know lots of client is going, uh, clients is going to ask about those line works as well, so... Just a second layer. It looks not too bad within the one, but we want to, to have a nice coverage. And then give it a cure. You also guys ask me quite often how I um, attach the press on nails. So basically I do them only for the tutorials uh, to show you different ideas. And uh, I stick them in only with the blue tack, uh, just for a picture purpose, really. Uh, obviously, you, my nails are always um, having the extensions on. So I'm using Olivia's nails and we don't want to damage them with the glue or um, gel application. That's why we are using just a blue tack only for a picture purpose. is isn't something which will last, obviously. Okay, so our next step is to apply the high shine no wipe top gel or any kind of top coat to protect it. You could also use the matte top coat. I'm just going to apply the high shine no wipe top gel. really nice pastel color I 
you also guys asked me for a St. Patrick's Day nails, so that would be an awesome color to use and then like the chrome to do the uh, design in green as well. I think it will look fab. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record any tutorials for you then. Okay, and the next one. So just a quickly apply the top coat. And now, the chromes always sticks into the no wipe top gel, so we need to buff it. Otherwise, the chrome is going to stick in everywhere. Okay, so that's the tip ready, and I have to give it a scratches. You could use also the matte um, top coat as well. I quite like to give those scratches, and I tell you why. Like um, the reason for me preferring buffing rather than applying the matte top coat quite often is that even if we apply even if we try to apply the gel polish nice and evenly there might be still some places where we have uh, applied a little bit more compared to the other places and the buffer gives those nice and extremely smooth finish like because we are also taking away any imperfections and I can already see like here I've got shiny place and then the rest of the tip is matte which means like that's where the color or a top coat application wasn't 100% perfect. So this is the awesome way to smooth out the nails. Okay, so a couple more. Just to make sure I have no shiny places. I'm being rough. And then remove the dust. Okay, our next step is to use the foil design gel for the design part. So I'm just going to pick up a small amount of it. And paint the design. Like a couple waves. You can make some of them thicker, some of them thinner. So first of all, I'm going to paint the green ones. I think it will also look cool in like on rainbow colors. Let's make the top one thicker. And maybe the bottom one thicker as well. You could also paint this part with the high shine no wipe top gel, but I find it more difficult to paint with the top coat. Okay, and then give it a cure. So this tip is curing and we can buff another tip. Okay, couple of the scratches. You really need to check under the light if there is any shiny places. And then paint the design again. Of course you could do it in different kind of, uh, I might actually show you as well. So I have also done this, so same technique, uh, obviously different colors, like kind of my favorite ones. And uh, like swirly bits and pieces. Uh, so this is a simple, simple version of the same, um, same kind of idea and same technique used. Obviously, if you want to see the other design, uh, the tutorial for the other design as well, just let me know down in the comments below and I can record it, the pink one too. Okay, 
But those kind of lines and abstract nails are really, really fashion at the moment. So I thought I'm going to show you those kind of simple sets. Quite difficult task to buff it on the stand as you cannot do it full speed. <laughs> Yeah, probably easier to take it off for buffing. Well, there we are. And I'm making them slightly different just so the look is more interesting. And then keep it secure. Okay, last tip to buff. Keep my brush away from the lamp so it doesn't cure. You always need to remember to yeah, guys, I'm just doing it this way. You always have to remember to don't keep uh, the brushes on close to the light because once they cure, they just go to bin. Okay, and that's the next one. Left. And ready to paint. Check under the light. So now you guys also know why I prefer the buffing to the matte top coat as well. Okay, so on each one we've got slightly different pattern. And then give it a cure. Now, exciting part. We are going to use those ash eyeshadow um, chromes. And I find them, they, they are coming off like when we apply them on the full nail. Uh, but they will work perfectly on the foil design gel just because it has those inhibition layer and they are sticking in much better. So I've got the first tip, which is ready. And what you could do is, I find it like applying it with the brush or eyeshadow applicator works pretty well. Now we are going to go for a green one. And it gives a really nice and chromey look to it. I'm looking for my eyeshadow applicator. Okay, so I've got dark green. 
And then on this one, I'm going to use light green. Then I'm going to try the eyeshadow applicator because I've got it now. And we're going to use this one. That's a nice green. Okay, then remove the excess. And we are going to paint another line. So we can use some rose gold color in there too. And then give it a cure. I really like this color of the green. Yeah, really beautiful this one is. So those fresh uh, black lines are going to be for a gold color. And then give it a cure. Really fun, like playing with all sorts of different chromes. And then give it a cure. So when I was brushing um, the excess of the pigment and it was used on the high shine no wipe top gel those eyeshadow chromes was coming off by when they are stick in into the product with the inhibition layer they are not coming off which is awesome because at least we don't have to waste the product and i got quite a lot of different colors 
so it was kind of like disappointed and I had to figure it out a different way of using it. Okay, now is the time for a second color. So we are going to go for the gold. Like on this one I have used this um, pink one and I think it's awesome, but for the green we need those gold in there. Really beautiful. Okay, so just remove the excess. Absolutely amazing. Brush away any excess and look how nice and homey look we've got. And then just apply the top coat. So high shine, no wipe top gel to protect our home. We don't have to scratch the free edge because it's only in the design part, so there is no need for that. Okay, here we've got another one. That one might be pretty interesting too. Really nice results. It's honestly, it looks like so shiny because the, the longer I massage it, I will show you on this one, guys. So the longer I will massage it, the shinier it's it becomes. Can you see this shine? Like, absolutely amazing. It looks like a transfer foil, really. And um, it's, it's so weird, like the way the chromes which are in a loose powder they do not transfer they do transfer well but not not as shiny over the product with the inhibition layer but those eyeshadow ones they go extremely like shiny they do really look like a liquid gold or uh, liquid chromes and that's what i wanted to show you like i mean the design itself isn't complicated like very simple to do it um uh, and I choose a different colors just, just so you could see different uh, ideas. But the main idea of this tutorial is to show you how amazing designs we can do it using this technique with the chrome. I will be definitely doing it for my clients like 100%. Okay, you can see it. I didn't buff my tip well, so the chrome also sticks in into the uh, high shine no wipe top gel. And now I want to clean it for a good look. Okay, so that's why it's important that we do buff it really well. Again, remove the excess and apply the top coat. Of course, we could bling it up as well, but I wanted to keep it simple just to show you the technique. And the last one, where are you? This one here. Okay, we are. This gold is so amazing. I think it is a fantastic alternative also for the people which are struggling with the transfer foil technique. Uh, obviously the transfer foil technique isn't easy at all. Uh, it is a technique which requires quite a lot of practice. So this is a nice alternative, especially that you can you can paint anything like, and you can't really tell it is a chrome. There is the black gel which is not visible at all from underneath. And I have used the foil design gel. So it is great for the transfer foil, but for those of you who are struggling with the transfer foil um, designs like uh, this is a nice and easy alternative, especially that we can use the product, which we thought isn't the best. <laughs> now the pinky is ready. So I show you the full set. So the pinky is ready.
and it goes on here. Yeah, I can imagine it uh, in different kind of colors as well. This must be a middle finger. No, it's not. Next one in. Usually wait a couple seconds before you touch your top coat uh, just to keep your nice uh, nails nice and shiny. Yeah, and a rainbow of colors. I think it will look awesome too. Those kind of unicorn -y style. But I wanted to show you some abstract nails. There we are. I hope you have guys really learned something new and you have enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to see uh, the pink uh, version of the chrome. Obviously the same technique, just a slightly different design. And that's what we have created today. Glittery hacks. Bye for now.